Our next presenter is Alejandro Basulto Martinez, uh, a Mexican-born composer and conductor who is a first-year student in the Master of Music program in music composition in the Moores School of Music. Uh, he won a Fulbright Garcia Robles scholarship to support his studies here in Houston, where he works under the direction of Dr. Rob Smith. Uh, Alejandro holds a bachelor's degree from the Conservatorio de las Rosas and graduate diplomas in film scoring and orchestral conducting from the ESMUC in Barcelona, Spain. Uh, he is a winner of both national and international composition competitions, and he's also the assistant director of the Aura Contemporary Music Ensemble in the Moores School of Music. Uh, accompanying Alejandro today in his presentation is percussionist Benson Kwan. Hi, my name is Alejandro Basulto Martinez, and I am a master's student of music composition, and today I want to talk about the use of popular music as a source of material for contemporary concert music. The limits between concert music and popular music are not always clear. We can find traces of popular music in almost every composer from the present and the past. For example, during the Baroque era, Several composers, including Johann Sebastian Bach, composed sets of pieces inspired in popular Baroque dances and labeled by the name of Suites or Ogla, French for order. A lot of them were composed for the lute, the grandfather of the modern classical guitar. This is the lute. With that in mind, I composed a piece for classical guitar called Orden, the Spanish for Ogla, order my own personal reinterpretation of the Baroque suite. Since during the Baroque era, the composers used the fashionable dances of his or her time, I decided to use the popular dance that I like the most, the salsa. What makes my approach different to the regular approach is that I decide to focus in the non-pitched rhythmic patterns instead of the melodies or harmonies. In other words, I decide that I just want to use the rhythmic section of the salsa band, percussion and bass, not the lead section, vocals, piano, flute, brass, etc. The salsa band has a big percussion section with claves, congas, guiros, tombadores in it. Therefore, I had a lot of options. The problem was that the guitar is not a percussion instrument. The guitar is designed to play melodies and harmonies. Nevertheless, we can use the rhythm as a source for a melodic idea or rethink the way that we play an instrument and try to produce new sounds. Today, I'm going to show you a few examples of that. First of all, what's the clave? The clave is the heart of the Afro Cuban music. Like the swing in the jazz music, the clave is a way to feel the music and also is a rhythmic pattern. Usually, the jazz musicians tend to stress the second and fourth beat of a measure as a fundamental part of the style. In the same way, in Afro Cuban music, the clave is our beating pattern and is the base where all the Afro Cuban music is built. Therefore, my intention was to compose long music fragments in clave, what means following the clave feeling. The clave sounds like this. Another way to approach is shaping melodies using a rhythmic pattern. I decided to use the conga rhythmic pattern to design the first part of the, of the piece. So the conga rhythmic pattern sounds like this. My reinterpretation of the guitar, a little bit slowly. Again. Together. The salsa plays a major role in the harmonic clarity of the music, but also the rhythmic material is the capital importance. This rhythmic provides a break-alike section for several passages of the piece. The bass in the salsa sounds like this. My 
interpretation. It is possible to produce different percussive sounds in the guitar depending where do we perform the attack. Therefore, I decided to notate all the places where it is feasible to have a distinctive sound. That way, I'm using the guitar as a percussive instrument. For example, if I play the guitar here, or here, or here, or here, I can have like sounds uh, that are imitating the percussion section of the salsa band. I want to disclose those uh, two, two different rhythms that I decide to imitate. The first one is the cascara rhythm. The second one is the widow rhythm. My reinterpretation of the guitar sounds like this. Finally, after listening to these musical examples, let's listen to an excerpt of the piece performed by Miguel Angel Castellanos and try to feel the clave, the congas, the bass, the widow, and the cascara. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. 